Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about a very interesting topic that why the transformer rating is expressed in kVA apparent power, why not in kilowatt that is in active power and why the motor rating is given in kilowatt as the transformer and motor are very similar to each other and sometime the motor is also called rotating transformer. If you will observe the equivalent circuit for transformer and three phase induction motor then you will find that both are very similar to each other. The working principle of transformer and the working principle of three phase induction motor is also same. There is also two windings primary windings and secondary windings. In the motor also there is two winding that is the stator winding and the rotor winding. So there are many similarities between transformer and motor and that is why the motor is called rotating transformer also. So in this video we will cover why the transformer rating is given in kVA that is in apparent power and why the motor rating is given in kilowatt that is in active power. So in order to understand this one let us take a simple SLD. Here I showed an alternator it can be substation also there is one transformer which is fed from the substation and this transformer is feeding load it can be any load for simplicity I took here motor because our topic is related to transformer and motor but this load can be anything now the power is coming from the substation and it is feeding to the transformer and then this transformer is stepping down the voltage and it is giving to the load so this is the simplest SLD I have shown to understand this topic. Let's check out the detail of the transformer and the load in order to understand this topic. So here the name plate of the transformer is given. This transformer is a 100 kVA transformer. Hope you can see in this video because it is very dim. So that's why I'm writing here also. And the voltage primary voltage is 11 kilo volt. Secondary voltage is 415 volt. Primary current is 5.25 ampere and the secondary current is 139.1 ampere for this transformer. There are other details also but these details are important to understand this topic. Now let us see the motor detail. This motor is a three phase motor which having a power rating 100 kilowatt. Okay and the nominal current rating is 200 ampere. Now as this load is fed from this transformer. So we will analyze what will happen for this load when it is feeding with this transformer. As we summarize that this is the detail of the transformer which I mentioned here also 11,000 volt divided by 415 volt. This is the primary voltage. This is the secondary voltage. This is the rating of the transformer 100 kVA and there is a 4% impedance of this transformer. Primary current is 5.25 secondary current is 139.1 ampere. What does it mean? Meaning the winding of the transformer has a maximum current rating of 139.1 ampere meaning the insulation provided on the secondary winding of the transformer is in that manner that it can easily carry this 139.1 ampere of current and any current over it will be difficult for this transformer to withstand and if the current will increase more and more than this current in the secondary winding more than 139.1 ampere more and more then this transformer will create a short circuit and the transformer will burn out. So this we understood from this detail of the transformer. Now from the load rating is 100 kilowatt at power factor 1 the load will be 139.1 ampere. So when this load is running at power factor 1 then this load will take 139.1 ampere of current from this transformer. So this transformer secondary winding is ok to feed this current because the secondary winding of the transformer is rated till 139.1 ampere of current and this load also required 139.1 ampere of current. So this transformer is ok to feed this load. but now this load is not now no running in power factor 1 but it is running at power factor 0.9. Then the load will take high current compared to the current when it was taking when the power factor was 1. 
this you can calculate from this formula p divided by rho 3 into b into cos phi if the cos phi goes low then the current will increase so what we observe here the power factor is less than the current going up now the same load 100 kilowatt of load is taking a current of 154.5 ampere from the transformer but the transformer secondary winding is rated till 139.1 ampere of current so what will happen the transformer is carrying the current more than its rated current that is 139.1 ampere of current why because before the motor was running at unity power factor but now the load is running at 0.9 power factor so it is taking more load and this load to satisfy this load current the transformer secondary winding will have a current of 154.5 ampere hope you understood here now suppose this time the load is not running at power factor 1 load is not running at power factor 0.9 load is running at power factor 0.8 then the load will require a current of 173.9 ampere but the transformer which is feeding this load have a secondary winding rating current rating as 139.1 ampere which is very less than the required current to run this load so what will happen the transformer will carry a current of 173.9 ampere of current in the secondary winding in order to satisfy this load but in that time that secondary winding of the transformer has over current which will lead to the insulation failure in the secondary winding of the transformer and it will create short circuit in the transformer so what we observe here that same transformer same load when the load was running at power factor 1 then this transformer is capable to run this load but as the load running at lower power factor the same transformer cannot able to feed this load of the same rating because the load is running at low power factor if the power factor will keep on going decreasing then the load current will become more and more and in this situation the transformer will break down i hope you clearly understand now that a 100 kva transformer can process a load of 100 kilowatt when the load is running at unity power factor but the same 100 kva transformer cannot be able to process a load of 100 kilowatt at lower power factor just for the time being consider that the manufacturer given the rating of the transformer as 100 kilowatt now in this situation manufacturer is ensuring that this transformer can process a 100 kilowatt of load irrespective of the power factor so if someone will put a load of 100 kilowatt at 0.7 power factor then this transformer will burn out but the user is correct as the manufacturer guaranteed that this transformer can process a 100 kilowatt of load but at the manufacturing stage manufacturer don't know anything about the load and manufacturer don't know which kind of load this transformer will feed in future so the manufacturer don't have any information related to the power factor of the load at the manufacturing stage so to be in safe side manufacturer giving rating of the transformer in kva now here one question arises that at the manufacturing stage also alternator don't know that which kind of load it is going to fit that is why the alternator rating is also given in kva for the ups ups rating is also given in kva as the ups also don't know that which kind of load it is going to fit i hope you clearly understood now why the transformer rating is given in kva that is in apparent power there is one popular theory in the internet available that the kva rating of the transformer is expressed in kva because the transformer copper losses and the iron losses just depending on the current and voltage as there is no involvement of the power factor that is why the transformer rating is given in kva but this theory is completely wrong any equipment any electrical device or machine which have windings will have the copper loss that is the i square r loss 
and any machine which have cores where the winding is wounded will have ED current loss and hysteresis loss which is called iron losses altogether. ED current loss and hysteresis losses altogether is called iron losses. So any machine which will have copper windings will have the copper loss that is the I square R loss which will depend on the current and any electrical machine which have cores will have ED current losses and hysteresis losses and that two losses together is called iron losses. In the transformer if you will observe sorry in the motor if you will observe there is a copper winding and these copper winding are wounded on the cores laminated cores in order to reduce hysteresis loss and ED current loss but we cannot vanish it there will be small ED current loss and hysteresis loss because we make the core of the stator laminated but there is a these losses available which will depend on the cores how good we laminated the core it will depend on that so in motor also there is losses my motto is to make you understand that there is two losses in the motor also that is the copper losses and the iron losses and the copper losses in the motor is depend on the current and the iron losses is depend on the voltage which is ED current loss and hysteresis loss if this is the reason of rating the transformer in KVA then the motor also should be rated in KVA if this is the decisive factor to rate the transformer in KVA but no this concept is completely wrong otherwise the motor rating also will expressed in KVA the motor rating is either expressed in kilowatt or HP horsepower in my next video I will try to cover why the motor rating is given in kilowatt why not in KVA as the transformer and the motor are very similar to each other but yes there is a big difference between the transformer and motor is that the transformer is a source but the motor is a load but we will discuss in deep about the reason why the motor rating is not given in KVA as the motor is a rotating transformer so stay tuned I hope you like this video and you learn something new from this video if you really like this video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much